Are you troubled by strange noises in the night? Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? Have you or your family actually seen a spook, specter, or ghost? If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Just pick up the phone and call the professionals. Call the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Serving all your supernatural elimination needs 24 hours a day. Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters. we're, we're ready, ready to, to believe, believe you. you. Franchises available soon. Call for details. Whoa. Russell, hey man, you near the East Wing? Yep. But by the new Gozer exhibit? Yeah, why? There's something headed your way. You're dressed up as Attila the Hunt again. I'm gonna smack you. Wait. I hear something. I'm gonna take a look. Wanna hear something really creepy? I was reading about Shandor, you know, the guy who donated most of the Gozer stuff. He was into the occult, you know, supernatural. Weird dude. <laughs> uh, well, why don't we talk about it some other time? Any other time? <laughs> hey, you can't be in here. Stop! privileges but listen if you didn't put it in there you don't want to eat it especially if it looks like cottage cheese Ick. this might be a little dangerous great danger is our life We'll start at 50% capacity. That should keep any burning or tissue damage to a minimum. Hey, if you're gonna burn any tissue, do it to the new guy. You can't use Ray. Our mortgage is in his name. I guess he's right. What's your name again, kid? No names, Ray. I don't want to get too attached to this kid. You know, just in case. <laughs> you remember what happened to the last guy? Hey, how come this mump gets all the new stuff? He's our new experimental equipment technician. He gets a cool title, too. It means he gets to carry around a bunch of untested, extremely dangerous hardware that, if not handled correctly, could blow him somewhere into New Jersey. Oh, this knucklehead lugs around our very dangerous prototype hardware that could potentially blow us into New Jersey. Thanks. Keep the title, kid. It'll work hard for you. Was that us? Had to be some sort of psi energy pulse. Substantial. A significant collected and centralized necromantic convulsion level seven or more. I know the answer, but I'm going to ask anyway, is a level 7 uh, whatever bad or very bad? On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say, let me guess, it's a 7. Let's just say we're about to get real busy. And that is not the fun kind of getting busy, is it, Ray? Ah! Look out! Slimer's escaped again! <laughs> Where to, Ray? The Sedgwick Hotel. It's the first place that little spud will go. Hey, you. You're up, buddy. Training will be on the job tonight. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, folks. There's absolutely no need to panic. We are highly paid trained professionals. I stand behind me. Try to look highly trained. That disgusting green blob is up on the 12th floor again, wreaking havoc. I demand a refund right now. Sir, if you check the fine print on our invoice. Invoices. <laughs> right, invoices. 
you'll see that your warranty on rehaunting expired some time ago. You should have taken the extended service agreement. I'm getting some interesting PKE spikes here. Disturbances don't seem to be exclusive to the 12th floor. I'd like the chance to look around the building a little more. Good. Dig up what you can. That little greenie shouldn't cause us too much trouble. Part of our settlement with the city, proton packs must remain off in heavily populated public areas. And in close quarters. It minimizes the city's liabilities and satisfies the restraining order the maid here had put on us. The world we live in today. You shoot a proton stream of highly charged particles at someone, they get all so happy. We didn't even burn her. I mean, there was redness. There was some redness. Well, hello. You're perfectly safe now, Miss. The Ghostbusters are here. Never gonna happen. Cab, please. To Times Square. All right, Ace. Get ready. Dr. Stance, if you'd do the honors. Proud to, Dr. Venkman. All right, showtime. We wear him out, then we capture him. That's what your proton stream is for. Full release. Now, cadet. You've got him on the run. Come on, let's go. Peter. Nah, I've seen this one already. Know how it ends. You two have fun, though. I'll cover the elevators and escort any ladies safely to their rooms. I've got a solid signal. Get over here and look at your PKE meter. All right, dig it. Your PKE meter is the cornerstone of any supernatural investigation. Works like a divining rod. Pointed at psychokinetic energy, it measures electromagnetic fluctuations and heats up. Pointed away, it goes cold. Hot is better. Just follow the signal to your target. And this signal looks just like your elusive little targeted entity. He's definitely been here. Looks like he cleaned out all the snacks. <laughs> Peter, come in. You okay? Uh-oh, man down. We've got a man down. Go, go, go! He's been slimed! Again! Hustle over here and help him up, will you? The mutant Stromboli snuck up on me. God. Funk the fire again. You guys need to get down here immediately. Our living science experiment is tearing apart the lobby, and he's not alone. More ghosts? But we gave this hotel a clean bill of health five years ago. New people die every day. Call the elevator, Junior. Slimer, you've had your fun. The elevator's off limits. Can we please call Winston and tell him his night off is officially ended? Way ahead of you, Peter. Janine is paging him now. Who is going to pay for all of this? No need to worry, sir. As you know, the mayor rode to office on a strictly pro-Ghostbusters platform. And we now invoice the city directly for all captures and eliminations. And unhaunted New York is a tourist-friendly New York. They split up. Ray, follow me. The others are floating back upstairs. Bankman, you two pull our friend Slimer into a trap as fast as you can. There's a massive bulge in these spikes indicating this isn't just some routine clearing job. He gets so bossy when he hasn't had his nap. Hey, now. Is that honey-glazed ham and prime rib? There. 
the Alhambra Ballroom. No way he could pass that up. Absolutely not. You can't go in. The Rodriguez Bar Mitzvah is set to start in half an hour. I'm telling you, go right to the beef brisket. And you've done quite enough already. I'm sure the thing will just go away. I'm willing to risk it. You're not going in there. That's all we needed to hear. All right, we're out. Coffee time, everyone. Service has been declined beyond this point. You bring your apron, we're gonna take a little shortcut through the kitchen. Be careful, Peter. Remember the Ellis Island incident? The Alhambra should be right through here. You know, I thought that guy said Rodriguez Bar Mitzvah. Would it kill him to mix in a green salad one in a way? I'm gonna take back him, blast him until he's dazed, and then throw your capture strip. Good, good. That's it, buddy. You got the little monster breathing hard. Casey, he's right where you want him. Release your stream. Yeah, no, try to hold him still. You gotta wear him down. You can wear him out even faster if you wanna bang him around the room a little bit. There, doesn't that make you feel better? Makes me feel better, I know that. Yeah, perfect. See, that's a big wow. That'll teach that pitiful goop sack to slime Pete Vengman. And by extension, you. The Alhambra Ballroom, the bar mitzvah. What have you done? The guests are arriving in 15 minutes. What seems to be your problem? Thanks to me and my new exclusively assigned recruit here, the festivities can now proceed in an entirely ghost-free environment. So, you're welcome, huh? And to all the Rodriguez's Lachaim from the Ghostbusters. Nice of you guys to join us. You grab the little spud? Mashed potatoes now. Your cadet had to straighten them out. Ray, we need to have a heart-to-blob talk with this one, or we are gonna have discipline issues when he's a teenager. Uh-oh. Heads up, your initiation is over. Now give us a hand. We've got a couple of really persistent, troublesome spirits here. Watch it! Sign on the door, do not disturb. No molestate. Got it? <laughs> Watch out! Hostile FRV! Hurling projectiles! <laughs> huh? That guy looked lost. Ray, let's go check the fridge. Let them go after the cook. Cadet, go with Dr. Spengler. Check out that angry chef. This way. Looks like he's drifting upstairs. Be 
careful. The psychonic vibrations seem to be amplifying their energy. Their manifestations are becoming more powerful and dangerous by the second. But don't be afraid because... Go ahead and be afraid. Nice going. You might really be the right person for this job. Yes, you have destroyed a significant section of a five-star New York hotel in just under three hours. Your mother and I are so proud. Aren't we, Egon? He's got something. Let's track it down. Hey, you think he'd make us some pancakes? No, Peter, I think he's trying to make us into pancakes. <laughs> Whoa, nice breath control. Contact! Here from Zetamore? Uh, guys, I'm right outside. And so is something else. Well, we had to make do with uh, this new specimen here. I've been trying to get here for over four hours, Peter. Traffic is a little blocked right now. Wait. I know that thud. Winston, what do you see out there? It's big. It's soft, it's white, and it goes well with graham crackers and Melvin's chocolate. No, this is not possible. Not here, not now, not again. It wasn't me this time, I swear it. Is it a re-manifestation of Gozer? A PKE signature of Gozer's magnitude is definitely present, but the flux is weak for the moment. So it could actually be a revisitation. Pull it together, Ray. What do we have that can stop that cheap confection? Ray, weren't you going to finish up the install of the Super Slammer today? The Super Slammer? It sounds untested. Tacky and exciting. I'm in. But will it work? Against the minions of a god? That was never the intent. But in theory, I suppose it could. But a muon trap of this capacity has never been used or even tried before. Uh -huh. And why would that stop guys that don't know it? Check this. Looks like something large and sugary took this corner too quick. Well, we're not getting through that way now. Well, it's starting to make good time, too. And I thought it couldn't become any harder to get around Manhattan. Any ideas? Uh, 
Hey, guy. The big pup is getting fidgety over there. Is he looking for something or someone? We need to get from here to there. Make sure the big boy doesn't find whatever he's looking for. Good strategy. It's dangerous, though. That's a lot of open ground to cover. We certainly can't just waltz down the middle. We'd be sitting ducks. That's correct, Ray. Ducks flock together in formation, which is bad. My plan was to split up and take two different directions. You know, mind over mallard. All right, sport. Looks like it's me and you. Let's go across Times Square and get into the building Stay Puft is so interested in. You guys keep them off us if you think you can. This is great! Giant blobs of Stay Puft! I bet they still have a paranormal or kinetic connection to Bubble Butt. I think we should proceed equipped with boson darts. I wanted to test these first, but since we're waiving that safety step today anyway, you should be aware that I modified the Neutrona Wand, which normally releases the particle stream. Wow! It's like Christmas game early! Earlier than what? They started Christmas before Halloween this year. Santa came to my house dressed as Dracula. Boson darts, super depolarized bursts of boson particles, extremely volatile. They're very effective, but can easily overheat your pack, so use them sparingly. Oh, and any accidental blockage could vaporize everything for three square miles. But don't worry. Lordy, help us! Stay puffed is somehow hatching these mini minions from himself. Well, there's paranormal physiology for you. Always something to make your stomach turn. Oh, I gotta see this. I knew I should have gone with you. Ray, send me a scan. Calm down, Ray. He's still out there pulling apart a building that was built by the Lord Bitter. How long do you think that's gonna last? Close one. Uh oh, he didn't find what he was looking for on the bottom floors. Come on. Come in, please. It's pandemonium up here. Chunks of the building missing everywhere. You are required at the site now. So happy to be in demand, but these sugar balls got me nailed down. I can't get past them. They're disgusting, and they're unhealthy. Ah, uh, did I mention there's a spectacularly beautiful lady in distress? I'll be right there. Easy now, miss. Just relax. No sudden movements. You're perfectly safe now. Sudden movements! Sudden movements! It's okay. Dr. Venkman has you. You're fine now. Was that a manifestation of Gozer? Uh... Yeah, probably. Just maybe. Could be. Would you like to take the most direct route out of here or the scenic route to its lady's choice? There's a stairwell over here. Let's go. Woo! Yeah. Grace under pressure. I appreciate that in a lady. You didn't spill your coffee, did you, Peter? Ray, I got coffee for all of us. But the little monster spilled it. And what's the story with those things anyway? Now, can you hold the stay up there for a 
by few you mean less than one, then sure, we can do that. My cyclotron is screaming for mercy, kid! Put your two cents in here, will you? Sailor all the way to the oh not quite didn't make it hey Ray say three guys the size of your finger knocked you off the side of a 30-story building and you had to climb all the way back up to tear them apart how, how mad would you be if those three little dinky types that giant blue and white toy man thing or whatever is still coming it's climbing the building heads up No sweat, kid. We've got you. He appears to be after something specific. Or someone. Why are you looking at me? Well, you look a lot better than me this week. Ted kicked your throwers to Maxie's stream and roast him. Please, we're right behind you. Literally. Boson, that really dinged him. Great job. Now see if he wants s'more. Get it? I'm funny too, you know. Ha <laughs> ha! Bet that hurt. I like when they help us out like that. Look, inbound. You're going to want to avoid those or take care of them. He's right, rookie. Your health insurance doesn't begin for another 89 days. He's not liking that very much. something you're a real sport volunteering to step up on this one thanks cadet How's your grip holding up, Dr. Venkman? Well, I don't have time for a high five, Dr. Staff, but I'm all right. Yeah, fine, for now, but all that rising heat is producing sweat in your palm, and sweat in turn leads to slickness. something kid now ah uh, what a mess down here Ray, Peter, we're in position. The trap is set. We're prepared to capture Stay Puff. Where is he? He's that white puddle you're driving through. Timing's off by just a hair, Egon, but we're glad the trap is working again. How do you feel? Pretty good. All extremely weird things considered. You know, I never forget a face attached to all the rest of that. I think we met earlier at the Cedric Hotel, and you gave me a sideshow chicken drop. My name's Alyssa, Dr. Alyssa Selwyn. And 
don't... Have you ever been involved in this type of quantum temporal rift event before? A quantum what? It's called arcing, a large pulse of psychic energy. Actually, yes. I was at the museum. A pulse of blue light surged through the building. And then I was standing outside a room on the 13th floor of an old hotel. We'd like you to come to our lab so we can run some brief tests and ask you more questions. Here's an easy one. May I take you out for Thai, Mexican, or Italian? Usually don't let the clients make these kinds of calls, but it's that kind of day. Wow, Dr. Bankman. That time you almost went 45 seconds without saying something abrasive. Want to try for a whole minute next time? something new that Egon and I have been developing. The shock blast expels a conical pattern of stripped dark matter particles that diffuse quickly in the atmosphere. It's very powerful at close range, but less accurate and less potent the further you are from your target. We expect it will work well on inbound ghost and vapor swarms or near proximity entities. And please be careful. It's a prototype. We're trusting you with it. Uh, <laughs> he's talking about you. Not just to the cadet, Beckman. So you know so much about Gozer because... Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian, primarily. Gozerian, more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night just an oversight right but i don't have anything to do with that no hello gentlemen no that was all me and i assure you it was not an oversight oh by the way you have visitors thanks Jeanine. you're a first class lookout <laughs> funny guy bankman you've always been my favorite uh, apologies uh, dr selwyn are you all right i think so but I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this. The guest curator of the Gozer exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself. Please, tell me that was Gozer. Come on, Chuck. What's the idea of bringing Peck around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. Don't know, know, don't know how. how. Look, this city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters and great for my campaign. Some people say our support got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. Well, that's where your old friend Peck comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect pet for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? P-C-O-C, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clowns' operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now, just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So you need each other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not like that. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can come. Doesn't Peck look exactly like the kind of guy who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a boson glider? I'm just saying, it, it could happen. Ray and I have been talking. And we think we should have a look at the museum. Whatever happened tonight, it started there. Okay. I'll take one for the team. I'll stay with Ilsa. You guys go with Winston and the recruit. I'll be your personal protection. Hey, guys, you need to make a detour. Something big is going down. It's on the, uh, the radio thingy right now. 
and another ghostly sighting tonight as staff at the public library scrambling for answers. The Grey Lady. Let's get her for real this time. Go. What about the museum? Oh, and another thing. Pat called and says that I'm required to tell him where you are and what you are up to. Tell him he can meet us at the museum. We'll be there. Eventually. Captain McMahon from the 12th says there was a massive disturbance. Real fireworks show. Not much going on now. Even the spirits are acting strange. How's that for a bad sign? Bad enough for me. Pack's on. Check for valences. Stand back! Look out! There they go! Come on! After them! You heard, Stance. Let's move. A couple of Class II animators. Never seen them in tandem like that. They're really agitated. a beast, Ray. Let's chase him down. Winston, check that next doorway. See if he has any friends. Leave a haunted room. I got no problem with that. Hey, Haas, you think you can handle that little fella yourself? We'll meet you back here. Strong emanations, no direct source, though. We followed our guy in here, and it gave us the slip. Think we found it. Catch, Cadet. Tell Venkman to send the bill to Peck. How easy was that? Wait, not so fast. I'm getting some big fluxes here. I think it's her. Yes! Yes, it is her! Eleanor Twitty, the librarian! Look, there she is. Meet us at the stairway door. She shushed us again. That witch! She went down that way! Winston, check upstairs to see if the other phantom doubled back. Roger. PKE's out and try to be quiet. Guys, I'm in the periodical archives looking at a stack of old newspaper clippings. All about some nut named Edmund Hoover, a.k.a. The Collector. Go on. This dude has a history you should know about. Seduced Eleanor Twitty, the head librarian of this place. The Grey Lady? That would be my guess. Oh, wow, a full stabilizing levitation. I'd say we're close to something. Ray. You got something? I've got something right here. Kid, check that out. She's the first ghost we ever hunted. Man, I wish Venkman was here. I'm pretty sure Venkman doesn't. Wow! Now listen, this place is reading like a psychic pressure cooker. Prime your thrower. Everybody stick close together. What was that? Here, this way, quick. Approach, Ray. There are two hostile spirits roaming around. 
around in here. Two that we know of. Now I got you. What? Oh no, kid, look out! It's coming your way! Temperature's dropping. Event imminent. Brace yourselves. What's your 20? I'm in some kind of a dark tunnel moving fast towards a bright light. Oof! Class 1 swarmers! Pesky but combustible. Hey, it's taunting me! How's your shock blast treating you? Where's that Class 5 out of here? Attract the slug here. new home in our containment facility. <laughs> Nicely done, cadet. Good work. That took some doing. Guys, we nabbed the other animator. It's cooling its heels in the box. Congratulations, Ray, uh, but I'm near Special Collections. Someone you've been wanting to meet again is here. We're on our way! Okay, she's in here with Egon. No noise. is up. She definitely left a trace somewhere. Big spike right here. Yeah, check this out. I feel a breeze. Oh, cool. Secret passages. These are great. I didn't even know this area existed. Looks like the janitors didn't either. The last 80 years, anyway. Kind of 
down. Wonderful. Hope you don't have any open cuts. I'm thinking flesh eating bacteria. there young blood good work spangler the kid found the exit so we're going even deeper exactly how far down is the ninth circle of hell eerie place i wonder if this is where the collector killed the librarian A safe assumption that book she's reading is emitting massive energy. Uh, that's your cue, killer. Go get him. She took that pretty well, better than I expected. It makes perfect sense if her residual spirit energy is tied to the book. The Gozerian Codex, right? Now that we have it, her echo must have been released. She's gone. I think we helped her cross over. And she just crossed right back. Watch out! wasn't as tough as it should have been. I was just thinking the same thing. It was almost too easy. Like she wants us to have the Codex. Yes, like she wanted us to blast this room apart. But why? All the energy from our proton packs and traps have weakened the membrane between this world and whatever... Cross-dimensional portal. From the fifth to the fourth. A whole world of ghosts. Something I've dreamt about since college. It's all in the Monarchia Demonium. Fantastic ghost world. Wouldn't get too excited, Ray. I have a feeling she did it so we could meet an old friend of hers. Hmm. So this is what the public library looks like on the far side of a cross-dimensional portal. It's one of infinite potential configurations. You know, theoretically. Yes, well, this looks like the Gozerian configuration. Ray, it occurs to me that these events are interrelated. The Gozerian exhibit, the huge energy pulse, the Sedgwick Hotel, the return of Stay Puffed. Yeah. Yes, even this, all pointing back to a single point of origin. Elissa? Elissa. You think she's a factor in this? Maybe not intentionally, but almost definitely. I do like what they've done with the place here, but I hope that portal would have taken us back to the library. Actually, we are back in the public library. 
The dimensional membrane must be extremely thin here. Someone's holding us here. The Collector. Yes, as it lore wants to add to his collection, and he's probably not too happy about us taking the Gozerian Codex with us. Oh yeah? What can a twisted little bookworm do to scare us? Hey, Collector! We're taking your book! What do you think about that? Ah, uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Yes, I think you got his attention, Ray. Oh, boy. Yeah. I have to say, I feel a little overwhelmed. I mean, we have faced some pretty powerful things. Some conjured up by me. But to actually be facing the collector himself, well, the honor is all mine. Okay, this is a powerful bugger. How these usually work, he will shift his power around the fight. That leaves very unique and short-lived weaknesses. Use your PKE goggle to see if you can spot the best way to approach this. Great job. Now that you found his weak spot, I think it's time to turn his weapons against you. Try wrangling those dense clumps of books and Boson launch them right back at him. Try wrangling those book balls he's throwing our way and toss them back at him. Just like Stay Pop, they have enough residue to do some damage. One down, kid. Super job. That was the key. Destroy the rest. It's a whole bunch of them. Okay, here we go. I've been running all over this library, calling you, looking for you, nothing. We passed through a cross-dimensional portal and fought a 40-foot monster to steal an ancient magical book. Oh, well, that would explain it. Next time, leave a note. Ray, does this mean anything to you? What is it? Not entirely sure, but whatever it is, I think we just turned it off. You thinking what I'm thinking? Then cross New York style, with no visible anchovy. Hmm? Maybe later. Right now, I need to go back to the lab and take a look at this codex. Slice to go on the way, rookie's tree? And we need to know what this is. I'll call for delivery again. Egon, our new boss, called again? Please don't call him that. Just Peck. That's bad enough. Peck? Called again? He's not happy. He says that if you guys fire just one more unauthorized proton stream, he'll shut us down for good. I added something new to the pack. This is the PDS, Plasm Distribution System. Basically, it's Slime Blower Mark II, heavily modified from the earlier version. Your plasm banks are now integrated into the Proton Pack. It uses a base culture of ectoplasm developed from materials we discovered under the city a few years ago. The protoculture is cross-strained with the original material and samples from various other ectoplasmic entities we've collected. Thank you. 
Well, this lends optimal properties to the final product, a self-regenerating strain of ectoplasm that can impair entities, cause caustic black slime to go inert, and reveal otherwise invisible ethereal structures that reside on this plane. You may want to take notes. You will be tested. I know that symbol. It shows up sometimes in Sumerian ritual magic. There's a statue on loan at the museum that features it. What does it represent? Just a symbol. Signifies a path to obtain great power. Most of my colleagues assume it's an old constellation. Get this. The Codex does indicate there is some kind of feeder system required to channel energy to a destructor form. A destructor form? Like Stapa? It's entirely possible that system and this pattern are connected. It's possible. Wait, you said the Gozerian statuary at the museum is on loan. From whom? Evo Shandor, the architect. Well, the Shandor Foundation. They control Shandor's remaining estate and holdings. Evo is a big collector of Gozerian artifacts. By Evo Shandor the architect, you mean Evo Shandor the genocidal maniac, right? That's what I was researching when Gozer attacked me. Shandor's architecture firm was involved in a number of projects around town in the late 18, early 1900s. Including Dana Barrett's old building on Central Park West. Let me guess. He did some renovations on the public library building on 5th. Right. And the Museum of Natural History. They're all connected to Shandor and this pattern. You should get a closer look at the museum. Well, the mayor's gonna be at the museum for the exhibition opening gala tonight. It's where I need to be, too. Okay, Egon will stay here and finish analyzing the data from the library. The rest of us will go in by the service entrance of the museum and lay low. Peter can attend the party as Alyssa's guest and stay in plain sight of Peck. And that frees us up to check out the rest of the building. Bill, I'm gonna bring you a corsage. <sighs> told me he'd meet us right here. It's crackling. There must be something really bad about this place. Good idea. We should probably have a look around. Guess that means we're not alone here. Yep. Something wanted out of this box in a big way. These are unusual flux patterns. Whoa, wait! Don't touch that. That's what I thought. Black slime. Oh, man! Do we hate black slime? Black slime is a hazardous form of ectoplasmic residue, toxic to both body and soul. Very dangerous. Egon and I haven't developed clothes and boots sufficient enough to insulate against the negative psychokinetic effects of this stuff yet, so be careful. In other words, the stains don't ever come out. However, after some painstaking research by Dr. Spengler and myself, we have devised a solution. Whoa! Remodified slime blowers. Yep. Switch out the nozzles and hose down the goo. The positively charged slime from your pack reacts with black slime, negating its emanations. Give it a try. Everybody, hold up. Get a scan on her. Damn, she got away. I'm more worried that she'll stir things up around here. I expect we'll see her again sooner than we want to. Was that a possessor? Maybe. It looked like a level seven or above, too. Didn't we used to fight class twos and threes every now and then? What happened to them? They were easy. Ah, the good old days. There's someone in there. Hello? Who's in there? Somebody that wants out is who? Hey, cadet, get in here and clear this off, please. Be ready for anything. Possessors are tricky and powerful. Oh, Dr. Rutherford. Uh, Z, meet the assistant curator of the museum. 
Is that horrible, terrible thing gone? Yeah, she's gone. You good? I, uh, yes, I suppose so. Dr. Shepard asked me to conduct a secret tour of the facilities for you. I'm a big fan. I even had you over for my daughter's birthday a couple years ago. Is that so? Yeah, well, I think we can get you a sticker or a button or mug or t-shirt or something when we're done here. Oh, that would be wonderful. Follow me. We'll go through the restoration department. There it is again! Don't let it get me! Don't you worry. She'll have to go through me first. What a notch, come war normal. Okay, Ray went and got his dumb, heroic self possessed. Can you help him? Yeah. Let me teach the young blood something. So when somebody gets possessed, you gotta knock the possessed sore out. To do that, holds down the possessed C with slime. Be my guest. Oh, thanks, I think. All right, let's show this plasm bag who's boss. Bring it down! No, no. I want the Ghostbusters ejected from this facility immediately. Where's his honor? We've got news for him and a photo op. The mayor is indisposed right now. Anything you need to tell him goes through me. Not happening, Peckaby. This is for Jock and Jock alone. We will wait for him to get redisposed. Why do the good ones always play hard to get? Oh, wow! It's a Thermian possession event! I haven't ever seen one of these! It's beautiful! Kind of like the 4th of July in hell. More possessor ghosts! Kid, you know what to do! Come on, kid. We ain't paid by the hour. That is nice work, my man. Truly impressive. Of course, I saved the world on my first day. 
You open the gate, so let's not get too excited. Out of style. Hey, you hang around Egon long enough, you pick up a thing or two. Wow, Peter sure can pick him. I've heard of being possessive, but he's batting a thousand. My inner Egon tells me that the slime will work on these guys. Let's give it a try. Now, once again, we get the ugly girl at the bar. That black slime is protecting. We gotta use the slime blower to remove it. Then we can get rid of Miss Buck. Can you open gate 3487? It would be a big help. 3487. 3487? All right, I think we've got it. There you go. Great job. Whoa, we're under attack. We'll get back to you. Thanks, Ray. Remember to stay calm and alert. We don't need a repeat of the Vigo incident. Hey, uh, Ray? We seem to be stuck in a room with no doors. What you got? Well, I'm looking right at the blueprints and, uh... Hang on. We got a signal. What you're seeing is a fold in reality. The ghosts removed the door from this plane of existence. That's great, Ray. How does that help the living? Well, this is an educated guess, but since they're gone, the ghosts' influence should fade and eventually the door will return to its rightful place. A few hours, probably. A few hours? That's not gonna work. We'll hit rush hour. Just slime the damn thing! Ray, we have yet another gate in our way. Sorry, no can do. We've left the security office. Then why don't you go back to the security office and be a team player? Can you find another way around? No, no, I can't, Ray. I have a lot of things on my plate, not to mention the rookie. And I have a bad back. Remember the HR meeting? Now raise the darn gate. this place. There's Alyssa, and she's not floating around. That's better news. Watch it. Spot him good, Jeanette. Thank you. The words a rescuing hero wishes to hear from his distressed damsel. May I say, your eyes are so much prettier when they're not glowing like hot coals. Ray, Peter, I've made an extraordinarily frightening discovery. All my data indicate that the ghost world is beginning to push through multiple cross portals from their dimension into ours. Well, more overtime. Egon, you must get Alyssa back to the firehouse for tests. 
Guys, look. That symbol. The nodes are glowing. Just like the other one. Those nodes might indicate the locations of all the cross portals to the ghost world. And that one's dark because we shut it down at the library. Okay, so we shut down the rest. It's a poodle walk, right? Yeah, simple. Now all we have to do is find them. Uh, men, there's only one light out there. So if this place is depicted on that symbol too, then the museum is still active. kid I dreamed of fighting a T-Rex. Of course it had skin and bones and was alive and I only had a club. But with lemons we make lemonade. This is where we earn the paycheck. Incoming! And this is where we realize we don't get paid enough. Oh good little dog. Nice little dog. Great. I don't think we can have this one as a pet. Slimer is one thing but a 20 foot tall T-Rex made of demonic bones. No way. Yeah. Okay, that's it. That's it. It's it. It's over. That's the last straw. I should have shuttered you fraudulent gangsters forever when I had the chance. You know what? I'm going to put an end to this madness now. Right now. I'm shutting down your containment grid for good. You can kiss off a permanent license, not to mention any chance for more government contracts. You, you did this to me. And you're going to pay. The whole city will have to pay because of you, but you're going to pay. You're going to pay. Am I clear? What? But that shuts you down, too. You have no job. Well, so be it. I have bigger fish to fry. I don't have to debase myself anymore over this, and I will not. I just simply will not. And get him off me! I think we need to keep an eye on him. You think? No. I mean, we really need to keep an eye on him. <laughs> You're real heroes. We're fired heroes. Peck's gonna pull our license. Well, get real, Ray. It's the holidays. Nobody in this town's gonna be around to pull our license till Monday. We got the whole weekend to stop this calamity and probably half a dozen others, save the city. We got a four-day weekend. We have time left for ourselves. What does this symbol mean? Uh, guys. Perfect fit. It's not a constellation. It's a mandala. Okay, for one minute, pretend that 
Someone here doesn't know what a mandala is. A mandala is like a prayer labyrinth. And this one looks like a spiraling system that feeds into each successive node along the line until it reaches a culmination point. Before he died, Shandor must have set some mechanism in place similar to the antenna in Dana's building. You know, I think you helped to make that clearer. So this was the gizmo that's supposed to feed energy to the destructor form? That's... that's right, Peter! Well, Dr. Venkman. Well, I had to get one right eventually. Didn't I? I mean, just math. But what does this have to do with me? What did I do? You were at the museum and the Sedgwick. Maybe you were some sort of catalyst, accidentally setting things in motion. Alyssa, do you remember where you were going when you were at the Sedgwick? I was standing outside a room, 1221. Something was compelling me to go in, but I woke up just before the door opened. I ran out of there as fast as I could. And then some jerk tried to pick me up at the elevator. I'm gonna have you drop me off near Peck's office. Something tells me he's not quite what he seems. Good idea. Meet us at the hotel when you're done. Wait, before we go, I want you to have this. This is the stasis stream. It emits a high-capacity stream of order-reversed particles that hypobond to ectoplasmic matter. Cool. A freeze ray. A stasis stream. This has nothing to do with cold, but the effect is similar. When do you have the time to work on all this stuff, Egon? I've been conducting an experiment in which I sleep an average 14 minutes a day. It leaves me a lot of time to work. Whoa. This place were any more dead, we need a coroner. Egon used to be a licensed coroner. No kidding. It's just a hobby now. Closed until further notice by the Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. Entrance into this establishment is strictly forbidden and is punishable by fine and imprisonment. What now? Hmm. This notice is for the general public. It doesn't apply to us. We're bonded contractors for the city. Especially the Ghostbusters. It's an ambush! Get them hot! Wait a minute, wait. I don't think they're a threat. They may only be residual hauntings. I think Ray's right. They haven't crossed entirely into this dimension. They're just psychokinetic echoes. Ghosts of ghosts. Completely harmless. Great. I was hoping to meet a friendly ghost someday, but I'll settle for harmless right now. Alyssa said she was called to the 12th floor. Let's start there. They'd have shut down the power when they closed. Did you hear something? Over there! Come on! This is just how a level 5 anchored ambusher lures you in! Ghosts, demons, monsters. The manager? What are you doing here? I came back last night to retrieve some payroll records, but the hotel won't let me out. The door's shut on me, and the phones are down, too. That means we're trapped now, too. And we have to hope that Peter figures out we're missing. There goes a weekend. Not necessarily. The 12th floor is apparently the core of this node. If we can get the power back on, we can take the elevators. If the elevators don't eat us. Yes, if the elevators don't eat us. More of them. He's there. Watch out. They're gone. There's a backup generator in the utility room, off the kitchen. It's for emergency blackouts. Perfect. Let's give it a try. To the kitchen. Someone you know? I don't know. Most of the old staff knows the story of the spider witch, a professional widow who did unimaginable things in a room on the 12th floor back in the 1920s. Amazing! How often does she manifest inside the hotel? Has she ever made physical contact? I can't believe I've never heard of her before. 
Excuse him, he's very passionate about his work. Ray, I have a feeling we're about to have as much contact with her as we'd ever want. The fluxes around here were at max. She may very well be the focal point for all this activity. <laughs> Watch out! Don't mess with me, man! I'll get it. Right. Now, let's find that backup generator. Bingo. Ah, sweet music. The elevators should be working, unless something... Never mind, let's get back to the lobby. Again? I suspect I'll continue to manifest as long as this node is active. Let's get him! Okay, it looks like the cycle mass has come to rest about 190 feet above our heads. The 13th floor. This hotel has no 13th floor. None of the Grand Hotels do. We'll split the difference. Egon, you and the Tenderfoot go to the 12th floor. Winston and I will check out the 14th. Uh, sir, if you'll please come with us. Egon, what were you saying earlier about the Mandala? Okay. Think of the Mandala as a city bus line. At the bus station, ghosts or waiting passengers are drawn into the system here and trapped. This concentrates their PK energy, which is then eventually forced through to the next node or station, and so on until it all gets yeah. to the final terminus. At each successive bus station, the station manager absorbs some of the energy. This makes the station manager or node guardian stronger so that it can keep the ghosts in line Ow. and destroy anyone who comes to the station to interfere with the flow. These nodes or bus stations gather the power used to feed a central point, thus creating a much bigger threat to our world. Does that make more sense now? Remind me not to take the bus in Egon's neighborhood. Yeah, you were going strong right up until the passengers got trapped inside the bus station. Say, hey, young lady, you are full of surprises. After you, my dear. Well, that was terrifying. Be extremely careful. This is likely to be a point of dangerous concentration. Odd. It's coming from everywhere and nowhere. Impossible to get a significant fix. Ray, come in. Are you there? Egon, what happened? We lost you for a minute there. They had a close contact. I've got some more information on the Spider Witch ghost. The manager says authorities never found her, but he says the victims were found in a pretty bad state. She seems to have vandalized the room badly, too. You've got a signal. Ray, come in. Yeah, what's up? What was the Spider Witch's room number? 1221. After her spree, it was locked up. Until about five years ago when we remodeled. Hear that? Room 1221. I think that... Hey! What are you... No! Help! It's the ghost world crossing through, happening sooner than we expected. It looks like this is where the node is focused. We could use some help. Ray, are you there? Come in, Ray. Looks like it's up to us. Let's find 1221 and finish this. 
That's horrifying. Follow her, through there. Apparently the Cedric does have a 13th floor and we just found it. seeing slime, ghoul, gods, and demons, but I really hate spiders. And that is a big spider. Trudy, bugs. Lots and lots of bugs. We've seen some strange stuff in our time, but spawning little demons from your own demonic body is about the top of the spook food chain, don't you think? I'll get it. That's the ticket she did not like that. Keep it up. straight on attack. We're going to have to get creative. Mandala map. Ray, Winston, come in. You there? Egon, what happened? You all right? The recruit found the 13th floor and we shut it down. PKE levels are back to acceptable parameters. This node of the Mandala is fully neutronized. All right. Looks like we're back in the Ruby Ballroom. We'll meet you at Ecto-1.
All right, I'm just speculating, but it's possible that ghosts are trapped in the system, funneled from node to node, and they get stronger and stronger until they reach the end, and then they... Look, the first portal, the library, the second, the museum, and the third, the Sedgwick. And that means the fourth portal must be right here. The, wait, the middle of the East River? Well, according to the Mandala, yes. It may need a little tweaking. I don't know. There's plenty of bodies dumped in that river to become ghosts. The final node. Close it and we seal the mandala, trapping the ghosts inside. It hardly took any work at all to get it to stay on top of the water again. I told you guys Marine Ecto-8 would come in handy. Egan, remind me. Why are we driving aimlessly in the fog? It's the final node, Venkman. Close it and we seal the mandala, trapping the ghosts inside. And that would be the node in the middle of the East River? Your exact words. Sorry to break it to you, Egon, but I just don't see a Mandela, ghosts, ghoulish structures, or any of the usual accoutrements of another world impinging upon our own. I, I wish it did, but... Please don't be an iceberg. Please don't be an iceberg. You were saying... Shandor Island. It's here. I'm gonna have to drop you guys in circle. It's too unstable. If Ecto-8 sinks, we're sunk too. Ray, since you're the most excited about going to Ghost Island, why don't I just take the boat? You want me to come along? Well, I, I, I thought it would make a nice gesture. You're giving me the suspicious look. <laughs> Drop it instantly. Get going. Nobody enjoys rushing headlong towards their death more than this one. What's the story behind this place he got? The Shandors owned this island for generations. The castle was built in the 1860s. Evo Shandor used it as a refuge, a lab, and a temple for he and other cult members to worship Gozer. Okay, that's all well and good. But can someone explain to me how an entire island sinks? The night the last Shandor died, there was a huge tidal surge, and the river just swallowed the island whole. Shandor consecrated the island to Gozer, and the ghost world reclaimed it. City's lucky it's in the middle of the river instead of Rockefeller Center. We're lucky now, but soon the ghost world will continue to assert itself into ours, and the damage will be incalculable. Oh, now I see what they mean by early demonic. Shandor's public architectural style ranged from federal to art deco. His personal tastes, however, obviously lean toward the Gozerian. This place looks like it was built on a Friday. You sure it's not going to fall down on top of us? The supports are waterlogged, the mortar is decrepit, and the foundation is shattered. In purely physical terms, there's no way all this can still be standing. Why do I even ask you these things, man? It's beautiful in a horrific way. Hey, listen, do you hear something? Posthumous black mass. What? People still worshiping? Even after they're dead? That's a powerful church, man. That might explain how these structures are still standing. You mean they're praying for it to remain standing? Count me in two. It's always quiet, just before the scream of murder starts. Heads up! Hey, where'd the caddy go? Yo, cool breeze. Come on out. Peter, behind you.
appendages seem intact. You look okay. Head out and try to find the others. Moving around and screw me out of here. some more lifestyle benefits. Man, what are these spooks up to in here? I get the whole mandala immortality and power thing, but what's up with all the slime science?
This must be where all the mood slime came from. Look, they must have pumped it straight into the sewers from here. Wish you were here with us, Egon. Maybe you could have explained the rainbow colors of slime we passed. Multiple colors of slime? That's incredible. Not unlike the regional rainbow plasma ends of Mexico City in 1970. I wonder what their purpose is. What would they react to? Stopping that massive anger? Sunlight, moonlight, orbital convergence, shooting stars, prayer, screaming, candle, spotlight, diet, or regular? The possibilities are endless! You know, I have to take my hat off to Shandor. This lab was built how many years ago? It's truly impressive. It's likely Shandor was the parapsychology expert of his time. You can't deny the pure genius of Shandor. It's a pity that it was all used for evil. If he would have just channeled some of it for good, the things he could have done. Well, he didn't, Ray. Shocker. Instead of peace on Earth and cures for diseases, we get booger snot ghosts, marshmallow ghouls, spider witches, the comeback of the Civil War, King Tut, and new property in the Hudson that I can't afford. Alyssa, I see her. You and me both. She's wearing just a simple terry cloth robe. And she's brought me coffee. That's her, all right. Spitting image. Wait. What? Alyssa is a Shandor? And she doesn't know it. When I did her profile, she told me she was adopted. Some coincidence, huh? You don't really believe that this happened by accident. No. Someone must have known and set this up. Once a peck, always a peck. Universe, 
And that is all she wrote. All the nodes are closed. The ghosts are trapped in the mandala. Right where they belong. Our boy Evil Shandor didn't factor in that he was messing with the Ghostbusters. Ha ha ha! Yeah, Peck made the same mistake. We're gonna have to have a long talk with him. Don't forget that Peter's girlfriend is a Shandor. I'm gonna have a very long talk with her. You guys need to get down to the shore and fast. I don't know how much longer I can hold her. The whole island's sinking. Well, won't the shore sink first? Not a bad first day. Well, that could have been worse. We need to call the mayor. Tell him to call off the evacuation. What's going on, Janine? Where's Alyssa? She's gone. They took her. One minute everything was fine, the next it was chaos. Ghosts flying everywhere. Janine, slow down. Start from the beginning. Okay. 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 Somebody jumped me from behind. And before I passed out, I heard Alyssa struggling and yelling, No! And the last thing I remember was the screams of the dead and damned echoing in my brain. So either there was a mass escape from Rikers, or someone shut down our containment grid again. Just like Peck threatened to do. It's funny. I always knew that Peck was a pencil-necked bureaucratic prick. But I never pegged him as an evil occultist. But where did he take her? And where are all the ghosts? Because, no offense, but if all the ghosts we've ever caught just escape, I'm clocking out. This just in. As authorities continue to supervise the Thanksgiving evacuation of Manhattan, increasingly powerful tremors are rocking Central Park. The question is, where are the Ghostbusters? Uh, tell you what, kind of a nice day. Why don't we go to Central Park? Could round up some ghosts, save the girl. Get back in time for a nap. Okay, but Ghostbusters ride again. Any ideas? I bet we could pull these gates down too. Hey, Ray. We got a chain or a winch for this thing? I didn't plan for a fun-filled day of off-roading with Ecto-1, so no. Junior's pretty spry, even with that hundred pounds of proton accelerator. Make your way around to the other side and open this gate for us. Hot, you all right? How's that gate coming? Nice work! Way to go, Greenhorn! Solid signal. Better take a look. Yeah! How did that happen? I'll go with the intern. Nobody should wander around alone in this place. We'll meet you guys a little further on. Good idea. Let's move. sure going underground now is a good idea. Come on, Spangs. Getting there is the fun part. system building above that tower. Remember the last time we saw that kind of atmospheric disturbance? That's right. At Dana Barrett's building, the night she turned into a dog. That's a bit ominous. Uh-oh! Run! Here he comes! Watch it now! That's solid rock! Your proton beam and shock blast won't even tickle at it. You can try boson guard. Summon his shield. Our equipment will be blocked. We have to get rid of it. Try and wrangle it and smash it. Oh, yeah!
graveyards all right? Man, there ain't nothing dead in this graveyard. They're throwing everything they have at us to stop us from getting to that mausoleum. Thanks for joining the party. I think we're getting close. This way, gentlemen. I don't get it. We shut down the Mandela. How can all this still be happening? In the Gozerian Codex, it's written that a blood sacrifice and a tremendous amount of spiritual energy are needed to generate the supreme destructor form. A destructor form? Again? Peck probably couldn't draw sufficient energy from the mandala before we shut it down. He found an alternate source in our containment unit. Wait, it's Ilisa. This is gravy. Cut the girl loose, close this dump up, head back downtown, force a sheep. It's Peck. Oh, what an opportunity. But the guy's tied up. Villains don't generally do that to themselves. Can't we blast him anyway? Just once, really hard. Nobody's gonna know. Can't do it, Peter. Everything points to Peck being used. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's the mayor. No, Ray, it's not. It's Ivo Shandor, right? Ah, Shandor possessed the mayor, turned Peck on us to slow us down. And when we shut down his Mandela before he could get fully juiced, he hijacked our ghost out of the containment unit as an alternate energy source. What's the girl have to do with it? Taking her was necessary. To assume my own destructor form, I require blood. My blood. Which is hard to come by when you've been a ghost for 70 years. What about Gozer? I thought you built this all for him. I did, but he failed me. Twice. How he earned the title the Destroyer is beyond me. Gozer the Bonehead is more like it. Anyway, I thought to myself, why worship a god? when you can actually become one. Slime him.
Shandor, where's your destructor form now? Leave it in your other suit. I have chosen. I am the destructor. I am the architect. Oh, no. That's very bad. The architect? <laughs> that's not so scary. The contractor, that's who kills you. Peter, you don't understand. He's the architect, and he controls Ghost World. And he can come into our world. And what do architects do? Well, they dream, and they have mechanical pencils, and they forget to put in linen closets. And build over things. I will pave over your fields to start anew. I will fill your seas with concrete and stone. Whoa, take a break. Do you ever shut up? I will pierce your world with girders of steel and panes of glass. Yeah. No! Listen! I will crush your world under the weight of my cities. That's just mean supervillain threats, Ray. All those guys talk like that. I will smother your creation under my own. What for?
times. Cross the streams. I've got you. No, no, no. I'm fine. Really. Make a path. Coming through. You know, this is either the worst or the best pickup line of all time. By the way, you are a descendant of Shandor. Yeah, kinda got that. <laughs> the Ghostbusters! Hey, fellas! What are you doing here? Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, where is here? You were the victim of a trans-dimensional possession, Your Honor. An evil ghost was walking around in your body for a few months. Well, did anyone notice? How's my approval rating? Well, you were re-elected. That's our cue. It is officially time for us to go. Please, I'm begging you, get me down. Please, get me down. You hear something? Nope. Not a... not a thing. You can't leave him there, can you? Looks like things are gonna be a little slow around here for a while. Which means we might be heavy by one too many ghost buses in New York. Wait, you're not gonna fire him after everything he's done? No, of course not. Lewis has been scouting locations, and I think we're prepared to offer a potentially lucrative Ghostbusters franchise in either Chicago, Los Angeles, or Cincinnati. I'll pick. So, are you ready to expand the Ghostbusters family on a semi-equitable basis and be your own boss? And wear a very cool uniform. So, Cadet, what do you say? <laughs>
the souls of men feed my rebirth. May the hooves of a thousand steeds trample you underfoot. Please stop burning the microwave popcorn. I dreamt I was in a painting with ponies. It was nice.